Friday's Breast Reconstruction Awareness it happens once a year in October. And we use it really as a chance to be with our patients in the community to raise awareness for breast reconstruction. The number one thing that I always get feedback about is I didn't even know that was an option or, or I don't know what my options were. So this is a good time for us to educate the community, uh, people around in the hospital that are around us, the patients uh, of what reconstruction is about and what options there are. I thought I felt a lump. I did the mammogram, they called me back to come back in. You know, it didn't really sink in at that point. The scary part was, is you really don't know how much of it was cancer. I just simply couldn't believe it. Now what do I do? You know, I kind of knew right away that I wanted to have a double mastectomy. I wanted just to be done and get rid of that in my body. When they're initially diagnosed with breast cancer, Typically, they'll meet with quite a few different physicians. And of course, we help navigate the whole reconstructive process, uh, giving them options, whether it's implant-based reconstruction or using your own tissue. The hospital has weekly meetings about patients who are newly diagnosed, and they kind of build what I call a dream team for you. I just immediately adopted these guys when I came here. One of the first opportunities we have is to help a woman through the entire surgical process. And for a lot of women, the thought of waking up flat chested is completely demoralizing. So I think we have this, uh, this amazing opportunity to help people during their initial diagnosis and kind of the planning stages to help uh, encourage them that everything will be fine from an appearance standpoint. He and Emily just made me feel very comfortable very much loved, very much cared about. I spend a lot of time with both of our doctors, Dr. Shale and Dr. Reinert, and I hear the conversations that they have with each other. I hear the concerns they have. I hear them, you know, talking and discussing their patients, making sure that everything's going smoothly. So if there's one thing that I feel confident and so comfortable being a nurse here, working with them, is that they truly care about their patients. They came in here and he was just smiling and he was just like, okay, let's talk about what we can do, you know? I felt so comfortable. We have nurse navigators that help coordinate this and help guide them through that so there's always somebody that they can call. And when I met with Dr. Shell, we were talking about the reconstruction. Now, I hadn't even had the surgery yet and I'm already talking about the reconstruction. Knowing options gives you that empowerment back. It makes you feel like you are in charge of your care and you know what's to expect and you know what you're doing. I was just so impressed by him from the beginning. I want him on my team. Breast reconstruction in general is trying to help women reconstruct a breast mound after breast cancer so that they can feel comfortable and natural and feel whole again. Part of me wanted to be, you know, not ashamed of what had happened and, you know, just have my scars and that was what it was. But the other part of me felt like that was taking away my womanhood. The important thing about having reconstruction is just to be able to live life and feel good about yourself and live a normal life. I think one of our most important jobs is just taking at least the fear of um, being disfigured off the table and, and make people feel comfortable that there are great options for them. I'm so happy, I'm so pleased with my results. If an experience like this can be good, I've had the best. I've had the best with the best doctors. My name is Jeremy Reinert, I'm a plastic surgeon at McKay-D Dermatology and Plastic Surgery. My name is Chris Shale, I'm a plastic surgeon at McKay-D Dermatology and Plastic Surgery. My name is Emily Bernier. I'm a registered nurse here at McKay-D Dermatology and Plastic Surgery. I actually look better now than I did before, you know? My, I'm, you probably aren't going to use this, but my breasts were, are up here now and not down here. But. <laughs>